Hello everyone. Today I'm working on another six by eight pocket page layout. Um, as you can see, I've got airplanes here. This is an airport. This is part of my New York City album. So this is right when I landed at JFK, kind of looked out the window, came down the jetway. And then as I was walking through the airport, just looking at all the different planes that were parked out there. So I do want to include these photos. Now, as with pocket pages, Sometimes it's a challenge because I've already done the previous page, so I have to use this style of layout. So I have to make it work. So I knew I had this photo, which is fine, it's a single. I knew I wanted a card of some kind, so I have that. But then, this was the only other photo that I liked. So this was actually a four by six. I just cut it down the middle in order to fit it into those pockets. I'm hoping that this one is going to be a pretty easy layout to put together because there really isn't a huge amount going on here and I don't need to do a lot to this. I'm not really going to journal on this page, so that helps. Um, with this card here, I did have this chipboard plane available. And if you've watched my other videos, I did consider using this one the other day in a different layout, but it just didn't work. It was really too big for what I had going on on that particular layout. But I think it will work nicely here to just put it right on top of that card since there are already um, kind of, you know, the planes and the dotted lines and stuff in the background. I thought, well, that'll work. We're still talking about planes. So my plan is to put it there. Not sure what I'm gonna put down here yet, um, if anything, if I'm gonna journal or just use a sticker or, uh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I fly by the seat of my pants sometimes when it comes to this stuff. Um, over here, I think I need something in this dead space, but I'm not sure what. So I'm going to have to figure out something for there. And then I have a similar problem up here. This side of the photo, the left side is, is pretty good. It's balanced well. We've got something up here, something down here. Um, and so I think, you know, it leads your eye and that's okay. But on this side, I feel like there's more dead space up here. Because, you know, once you look at this bottom half, there really isn't much going on in the top half um, on this right side. So I think I may have to do something up there, either stamp, put a label, something. Uh, so those are my challenges for today, the things that I'm going to work on. But since I know that I have this and I know what I want to do with it, I'm going to start with that and see where it takes me. I have the plain chipboard piece on there. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of just highlighting right here to differentiate that because if I do end up stamping on here 99% chance it's going to be black ink so I want to kind of establish that now and bring that in so I'm just going to take my pen which is an 01 so it's quite fine and I'm just going to ink along the edge here now there is I don't know if the camera can pick that up totally there is kind of a slash border here in blue already but I'm going to add in the black just because I think it'll be good as an extra element. There we go. And then I'm gonna go backwards as well. And I don't make these perfect by any means, it's however they turn out. So there's a little overlap there. And you know what? That is totally fine. So that's how it looks close up. All right, so yay, one thing done. Now three more pockets to deal with here. When I was actually in New York, I bought these there. Um, I stayed in Chelsea and there was a store near where I was staying and it's called Paper Presentation. It was awesome. I could have spent way more time in dinner than I did. I could have spent hours and hours, but I was kind of on a schedule. So, you know, I behaved myself, but this is one of the things that I bought. This is by Paper House and I liked it because it was all things in a relatively neutral palette, not, you know, real crazy colors here. And they're all things that are related to New York. So I did um, pick that up and I've decided, I think that down here in this little space, I'm not gonna write anything, but I'm going to use these arrows and just sort of direct the eye to the next layout that's going to be on the other side. So I am gonna take that off and add that to the card. So that's a really easy fix of what I can add to this one. So the question is though, do I wanna center it? Do I wanna put it over here? Hmm. 
I kind of like the idea of having it offset, but I think if I end up doing something over on this photo, it's going to be in the right hand corner. So I think maybe I will just center it to match pretty much with the plane. All right. So there, I can kind of take that one out of the mix. Don't have to worry about it. For this one, I'm considering using some stickers, letter stickers, to just put in JFK right here. Um, does anybody have these stickers in their stash? They're from Stickopotamus. I can't even tell you how long I've had these. Is there a date on here? Oh, I don't see one, but they're old. This used to be all the rage, this style. And I have a problem. I tend to hoard letter stickers. If there's anything left on that sheet that can possibly make a word, I tend to want to hang on to it. So I checked here. I do have enough to do JFK. Um, so I think I'm going to do that and just put it right over here in this dead space. If I don't like the way it looks, because this, you know, black is very bold. If I don't like the way it looks, I can always peel those off again. I did put the stickers on there and I like it. I think it works. You know, the initials, short and sweet, uh, helps me use up those letters that have been in my stash forever. And so I think that one is good. So now two pockets pretty much done here and now on to the top. As some of you know, if you've watched previous videos, I have this bag of items. These things are phrases, little um, digital file elements that I've printed out, and they're all travel travel related. Yes, I can speak. Um, and I keep them in this little bag and I dip in there when I need something. And so as I was looking through there, I thought I was gonna pick out one of these phrases that's more like a label, just kind of straight edged, but I changed my mind because notice the blue in this photo is quite different from the blue in this photo. So darker blue or more true blue and this is more of a, like a sky blue. So what I found was this. This is a digital element that comes from one of the sets um, that is sold by In a Creative Bubble. Can't remember which one. I think it actually might even be called Jet Setter, the name of the files um, or the kit that you can buy. So you just buy it, you print it out, you cut it. So I punched this one with my circle punch and I was thinking I could do something like this to fill up that space or off center. Then I kind of cut off the, the tail of the plane here, but not a huge deal. But um, I thought maybe I could do that and cut off the top. And then I bring in a little bit more of that darker blue and there's a nicer mix. So I'm gonna try it and we'll see how it looks. So this is how it looks once it's attached. I did cut off the top. I decided to go slightly off center, not totally, but slightly, because I didn't wanna cut off the tail of the plane here. And I wanted it a little bit off so that it didn't perfectly match up with the plane because that's two kind of heavy things on the same side of the page. So did it slightly off center, cut off the top. Now I'm going to put in just a little staple here just for looks. There we go. And now that is in there. Now, as I look at this, I would say this side is actually done. Normally I wouldn't do anything more with this. I'm questioning whether or not I should stamp a really short phrase or maybe find a little word sticker or something that I can put below the jet setter part. Um, nothing that I have in my stash is coming to mind at the moment, but that doesn't mean that I won't find something later. <laughs> so I think for now I'm going to leave it that way. Uh, but by the time this is done and I do a flip through of the album, maybe you'll see that I added something after the fact. But for now, let's put all these in the pockets so we can see what it really looks like as a finished layout. Go to upper left here, and the other half of this photo on the right side. Whoops, get past that staple there. Come on. It's being persnickety. There we go. Oh, it's because I have that wood veneer on the other side. Forgot about that. My bad. There we go. Gently put those in together. There we go. All right. So that's the finished product here. I'm happy with it. 
So I'll do a quick close up so you can see everything came together nicely, I think. And that's it. Super easy one. So I can add this to my album. And when I come back the next time, I'll have a whole new layout to work on. Thanks for watching, everyone.